So as a designer, I've created countless buttons, countless variants, and what it comes down to is truly understanding the power of a base component that you can easily change in the future and you're gonna save a lot of time. Hey YouTube, and in today's video, you will learn how to create a base component for a large button set. And I'm Roy, a UI designer based in the UK. And this file is gonna be made available in the Figma community. You created a focus ring, right? create a base button with what you need and you just have to really think about and write down what you do need and what I've put it down to is a bunch of lists so you have the type you have the size you have the state you can have a button with a leading icon or a trailing icon so once you have this mindset of listing out the different variants it's going to make it a lot easier to understand further down the line Let's create a naming convention based on your list defined on the previous step. So for example, here, we're just taking this list and we're having a naming convention. So for example, primary default default false false, which represents the type is primary, the size is default, the state is default, leading icon is false and a trailing icon is false. And here is a variant example. So now we've got a naming convention we're gonna go straight into creating a base component. And all you need is three main elements we need for a button. So what I've done, I've actually created a playground for you so you can try this out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually just gonna duplicate this one. And I'm gonna select these three elements. So here you have an icon, a text, and an icon. And all we're gonna do, we're just gonna select all three we are going to hit shift a so the magic has already begun and now what we're going to do is we're going to have a spacing of 16 between the items and here we're actually going to start putting in our spacing values so we can say 18 on top 16 on the right sorry eight pixels on top 16 on the right eight and then 16 great and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna very quickly rename that layer to button. And what we're gonna do is very quickly give this a fill. So what we're gonna do here, you can choose whatever color you like. I'm gonna use the primary colors that we set. So I'm gonna go for around 500. And now the contrast is not great. So I'm gonna immediately change this to white and also the text to white. Okay, so let's zoom in a bit. So here we have a very simple button. And now, usually you would go away and create a component, but the next step is the focus ring. So there are many ways of doing this, but what I'm gonna propose is using another auto layout. All you have to then do is do Shift A, and all you do from there is, let's have a gap of, or padding around of ten, uh, two, get rid of the spacing, and all you're going to then do is, hey, I want a stroke, which is two pixels on the outside. And that is going to be the primary color of 500. Great. So now what we've done is we have our base uh, structure. We have the, um, the focus ring. So what we're going to do is name this to dot base button. And now we can give it a border radius if we want. So we can say eight pixels on the outside and then on the, on the button layer, we can say six pixels. So now we've got that nice rounded style. If you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button. We are just going to make another two of them. So I'm gonna command D, command D. So now we have three. And just to note, we're putting a dot in there because if you do publish these components, then the viewers or the users are not going to see that uh, that component when they search for it. So I'm going to command A to select tool, hit shift A. I'm going to give a spacing of, let's say, 40. Let's put this in the middle and hit enter. So now we've got three base buttons. And why do we have three base buttons? is because we can have three different sizes. So we can just rename this to default 
and then we can have large and then we're going to have small and you may end up having five different sizes but let's just keep it simple and we have three so immediately what we have to do is change some of these values so i'm going to go to the large one and i'm going to go inside and here straight away i'm going to change some of these values so i'm going to straight away go up to 12 12 and let's say 24 24 and i'm also going to make this bigger well it's currently 18 so 18 is not too bad let's say 20 and let's just check this one is 18 okay that's fine and now the spacing between let's just double check again so if i go to the button it's 12 okay and okay so just check here and here so we could say the spacing between is 24 so we've got a nice big spacing and this is down to preference how you want to do it and then the last one is the small one so again hit enter to go in and here we're going to make this smaller so we're going to say 12 on the side on the right 12 on the left and we're also going to go in here and we're going to make this smaller let's say 16 with a line height of 24 great so if i go in we have a touch area 44 we have a touch area 44 so it's exactly the same so in that case we're probably gonna have to make this smaller so let's say a line height of 20. however what you can do is this is what you'll notice is we can go into button we want these to vertically align in the middle so it could be from the left and we can go here do the same thing again go to button and we align it from the left so again we go to button align it from the left okay great so let's check the height again this is 44 and this is also 44 because they both have a height of 8 and 8 so let's say this is even smaller let's say 4 but what we have to do is to also reduce the I think that's enough actually yeah so now we've got a 40 pixel height and now because of the naming convention it's actually the other way around so let's just make that small and we will make this one the default okay so what we've done is we if I also do option and L that will collapse the layers hit enter again so what we've done is we created three base components we have a base for small large and default so all you do for there is you hit enter and you go to this area here and you want to create multiple components not set components multiple and once you've done that you can then see we now have some base components so i hope you won't miss the next video because we're going to use these three base components to power a large button set and also the beauty of a base component is very easy to change in the future if you need to change the border radius or the text sizes for the three different sizes if you found this video useful please leave a like leave a comment subscribe hit the bell and i'll see you in the next video